Hi, I'm Pearly. I decided to join the Draw This In A Style Challenge by Caroline Petrosky, I hope I said that right, on Instagram. And I managed to submit this entry before deadline this time. Yay! With her original design, you can see that she has curly hair and a simple red dress while holding a Christmas decoration. So I'm adding all that to my drawing. I really enjoy drawing her hair. It's just so satisfying adding those little curls and loose strands of hair. Now there's always some part of a drawing that I struggle with. In this case, it's her hand. You may be thinking, what about references? Well, the reference that I found was this. Should I have discovered more references to make my life easier? Absolutely. And did I do that? No. So here's me going back and forth, tricking some minor details and wasting so much time doing so. After much struggle, I ended up with this. It's not the best I've done, but it will do this time. I didn't like how I drew her eyes in the first sketch, so I'm withdrawing them while adding more details. I like this sketch so much that I actually use it as it is for the final line art. With the base color done, it's time to start rendering. This is another part of the drawing that I'm struggling with. I use the word struggle a lot, aren't I? Anyway, looking at the reference, you can see some highlights around her neck and shoulder. There's also some on her chest, but in a much muted way. So I'm trying to capture all that in my drawing, but I just can't seem to get it right. I have tried using different color palettes, adjusting the contrast, and adding some color variation, but nothing works. Eventually, I ended up with this. She looks like she had bruises around her neck, which is not good. Ignoring all the mess I've just made, I'm back to something I'm more comfortable with. Drawing her face is quite simple, just adding some shading around her eyes and nose, also some on her lips, act as lipstick. Can't forget some blush on her cheeks to make the whole expression look softer. And it's done! After regaining some confidence, it's time to paint the body again. This time I start with some airbrushing. This helped me to know where the general shading is while avoid making harsh lines across her body. Even though I'm still struggling, this process goes way smoother than last time. This time I'm adding to a more straightforward color palette, which was one of the mistakes I've made before. I always try to add more color into the drawing to make it look more attractive, but sometimes simple is the best. With that in mind, the whole coloring process becomes much more enjoyable and the result turns out great. It's actually one of my favorite parts of the drawing. Because of the shading on her body darkens the whole skin tone a bit, I'm adding a darker pink to her face to balance it out. For her hand, it's basically the same as her body, a dark pink for the shadows and a desaturated red for some color variations. I keep in mind to paint the knuckles because it can help the drawing feel more realistic. Not too prominent though, since I don't want them to feel overpowering.
As mentioned, I'm using the sketch as the final line art. Also, I'm keeping the line out on her body this time. I'm using a bright orange and a dark red on top of the line art to help it blend in with her skin. It's pretty satisfying, especially when coloring the eyes. According to the reference, she has beautiful green eyes, so I'm using that as the base color. But you know me, I can't keep it as it is, so I'm adding some yellow under the pupil, some blue for reflections. While at it, I'm also adding highlights to her eyes. And with some minor tweaks, her eyes are done. Moving on to her dress, I'm sticking to a simple red palette, mainly focusing on creating details with different shades of red. Looking at it now, I accidentally made some kind of a velvet texture to it. What a pleasant surprise, I guess. I'm using a desaturated red on the shadows to add color variations. I'm also drawing some final details on her sleeves. I'm using the sketch as the line art again. I must say, I must have had a fantastic art day when I drew that. With some touch-ups on the line art, the dress is done. When drawing her hair, I airbrush some orange on the part that's near her face. I really like how it gives a glowing feel to it. I'm using a darker brown to add some definitions between hair strands and help increase its saturations. I'm also adding a little red to make it look more interesting. The same goes for the other part of her hair. When I'm painting the darkest shadow of her hair, I just lay down some shading on the general idea of where I wanted it to go while following the sketch to create some hair strands. I'm also leaving some room for future detailing. I'm using an even darker brown to create some depth to her hair while adding a darker version of the red I used earlier for color variations. I'm also using a desaturated red on some parts of her hair to help blend in with the background. I wasn't going to add the highlights initially, but it does help bring the whole piece together. Mm -hmm. 
Moving on to the background, I'm using some brushes I found on the Medibank Pink Cloud. This is my first time using these brushes and I wish I had used them sooner since they are really convenient. I downloaded some that I like and used them to draw the Christmas decoration in her original design. When I'm happy with the base, I use one of the brushes that I found to add some details. It does take some fiddling to make it look just right, but it still helps a lot. I change the background color to match the whole aesthetic more, and since there is some ornament in her original design, I'm also adding that. I almost forgot the giant bow on it. Now when I drew this, I was actually on a time crunch so I can edit this video in time so I put less effort than I would use to, but it still turned out great. Now I'm adding the final touch-ups, such as some glows on her face, around her hair, and some on her dress to help accentuate the whole character. I also did some minor tweaks off camera and it's done! Let's look at the final drawing.